side. Yet another classic dismal rollout on this Doomfist. Very proficient in the hero. Rancher deciding to pick Brigida at very last minute. Kind of exactly what we expected. Deadly Skull emoting on point for a little fun. Play a little bit safer in the 5v6. They managed right. to get their own picks and they walked out of point themselves. Ooh, you're incredibly correct. The Bob comes out from the side of Charcoal to see if he can get Ooh. anything done with the E with the uppercut. Gets so much damage off. Charcoal's Bob ends up falling, but Charcoal does find a pick on the missile as he's trying to exit. What? Like they, they needed to walk on top of that, right? They, it was just so much pure damage off the side of uh, on Dismal, and they just they didn't capitalize off it. You're right. I mean, they needed to capitalize on that 100. The war starting things off with another amplification matrix. So really nice opening all for them. But the pull, the pull is that pulls them into that doomfist ultimate. The meteor strike finding Rancher, and they're immediately gonna have to back out as full support fall from FDA Sapphire. Yeah, and it was a great whip shot kill from Bash. Those whip shots are so important when you're playing Doomfist because when he's in the back line like that, the Baptiste really can't focus him. He might be in mutual, can just get enough HP to sort of sustain himself and get out. Just enough time to make it a 6v5 instead of a 5v5. I mean, you're exactly correct, and it looks like as they initiate back onto this push, a pull flux is going to be coming out from the side of FTA Sapphire. A nice response from Defaldo, giving up that immortality, but oh, as they keep getting picked off here, and are they going to even have time to reinitiate for another fight here? They should have time for another fight because there was a couple people that came back, but I think the main thing here was how early that FTA Sapphire uses ultimates, right? They're gonna put this this is what I was saying earlier. They took the fight to the Paul Overwatch. They made the Paul Overwatch play the FTA Sapphire game. And on offense you really need that. And now with the cap, this offensive Whoa. pressure didn't let the Paul Overwatch contest, even though they had four really strong ultimates coming up. This is I mean, really well was, done by FTA Sapphire. I mean that was absolutely brutal, but the immortality will have the highest win percentage in Overwatch League as an ultimate in season two. Once two to two got unlocked and Arisa became hard meta. Like it's such a powerful ultimate, and I don't think they're getting the value oh, off what they need. This is actually massive a pick, a whip shot actually comes out onto Deadly Skull, falls into the pit, a great whip shot from Rancher and forces the ball. Which is a massive pick for FDA Sapphire to try and open up onto this last fight. Immortality from Lot 20 gets picked off immediately. Deadly Skull also gets picked off, but Vantage is down. That is a decent amount of their damage from the side of FDA Sapphire immediately falling to the wayside. And the Blade falls as well along with it. It looks like Blade falls as well along with it. It looks like FDA is trying to play a little bit more passively because of that. Wait to come back into the fight. This will is pulled on the point and it looks like it's just going to be at a stalemate for right now. But a punch on to Sir Mean will poop him all the way out of the way. I thought he was going to fall in this pit there and DePaul is going to cleanly find this team.